Mr. Truck here, somewhere in Arizona. I just left Detroit at 10 degrees below zero and here I am in the 70s in Arizona. Mr. Truck driving the 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 pulling a Bobcat and 2015 GMC Sierra Denali Dually 1 ton 3500 pulling a Logan Coach horse trailer. Seeing how the grade shifts, seeing how the exhaust brake works on these grades. We're on some 6% grades, climbing some mountains up 5,000, 6,000 feet. We'll see how they do. Well, hey, you're starting from the settings menu. Okay. okay. And here's US or metric. But you go down one and you've got themes, display themes. Okay. Okay, so that we're in the standard theme that we have it. You see the four gauges across the top right, of the center? Right, I like that. It's a standard theme. Okay, and then where it says standard, you normally have whatever information you wanted to display there. Okay. But you can select technology. If you select that, the display changes to that. Cool. Okay. Oh, the yeah. Fill, yeah. And you've got your compass all the way around. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. That's one theme, and again, you can put whatever information you want in the middle. Or you can move it around. Oh, I see. You okay. Just keep yeah. Because if okay. we go back out, yeah, and we go up to here in this theme. Uh huh. Now you can put your trip odometer in here. You can put your speedo in here. Another trip, average fuel, range, instant economy, oil life, any other information, the local speed limit where you are, the locational speed limit. Yeah. Okay. All within, you can put all of this in any of the themes. You just get a different look to the display. Right. So if you go back out, let's let's look at the last one. So go to down to what we're calling media. And it's just all with that. It's huh? all off of this button on the steering wheel right here. Cool. So you got that look to it. Yeah. Okay, and you got the compass across the top, which is some people have said they the boats yeah. that rode around. around uh, <laughs> that's the compass kind of look there. Yeah. So let's go back out and see what some of the information looks like in that yeah. setting. So that's what that might be. You can put something else on the top too if you want. Great. Well, that's awesome. And what about the eight-inch screen there in the center stack? The eight-inch screen on the center stack. Yeah, let's let's go back. Because that's to unique it. to Denali, right? Uh, no. Nope. Oh, they all have 8-inch? We, we have, a lot of the Sierras have 8-inch standard, all of them except the very okay. base trim. Okay. But you can actually, let me show you something here. Let's go back to the traditional display, just because it's a personal favorite. And I want to show you something. We're going back up to standard now. Okay, and then we can go back out and just put the, put the uh, odometer in there, or whatever happens to be there. Trip, trip, and then speed up. You can have this radio display, see where it is? Yeah. You can fling it and it shows up over there. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. If you want to see this information here. Now, yes. in the meantime, yes. you could put the nav on over here. Okay? And you can display the nav on this screen and you still got your radio display over there. Cool. Now, can if you move the nav over there? Uh, no, the nav doesn't move there. I don't believe Let's Let me try it. I think you get. You don't even get the aero display, no, because okay. it's too much, too much information to fit into that screen. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool. So you can you can customize between these two screens what okay. information you want to see and where you want to see it. And what size of screen did you say this was? That's an eight-inch diagonal. That's screen. an eight-inch Both screen. Of these okay. Are actually, wow. Yeah. Eight-inch diagonal. I'll be there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ken. You are very welcome, Ken. Illustration: We took the Silverado, the Ram, and the Ford all three quarter tons diesels uh, pulling 10,000 pound trailers to see how well they would hold 55 miles an hour with the cruise control on. Uh, we let them go up to about 6% grade and uh, see if they would hold the downhill run. Uh, of course the GM did hold it at 55 miles an hour just using cruise control, the grade shifting and the uh, exhaust brake. Uh, the Ram was like in second place and then it was the Ford but uh, GM was the only one that held it. Uh, held it in place going down that 6% grade. In the next contest, we uh, went the other direction. We went uphill uh, to see just how it would uh, would handle uh, the speed. This is a running start. We did it uh, side by side with the Ford and the Silverado, and then with the Ram and the Silverado. Okay, 
Okay, mirror, mirror. Ready, set, go. Silverado zip past the ram. What is happening, man? The ram is just. Like the Max diesel hasn't changed dramatically since 2001 when it was born. It keeps getting quieter. Of course, it's had power upgrades, but it is so quiet you don't even hear the diesel when you're going down the road. It's the only truck like that that I've seen in this class. We had 3,500 pounds payload in the back of the dualies on our way up the hill, the 6% grade we climbed out here in Arizona. And that's nothing for it. This truck is rated to tow up to 73, 74 at 7,374 pounds. It's amazing. That's why it has such a big tongue weight capacity for these bigger trailers. We had a, a toy hauler there. It's just an RV trailer. We also had a, a horse trailer, a Logan Coach horse trailer. And these all handled well up here. The, the grades were fine. The going down the hill was great with the exhaust brake. Uh, it's a very good exhaust brake the GM has on these Duramax. And it's uh, it, you know, grade shifts fantastically. The uh, receiver hitch on this, even without weight distributing now, they've upped it again for 2015. It's clear up to 19,600 pounds on a one ton dually 3,500. That's, uh, of course, the highest in the industry. And that's without weight distributing. You see the two and a half inch reducer on there. Now the brake controller, they moved it up. I wish they had moved to the right side, but it, you know, with the sway control on the traders, it's not a big deal anymore. But it is higher, so you can see it better. You can see where you're jumping to to try to grab it to do the manual override. But it also has electric over hydraulic for the first time this year in 2015. There's some of the switches you can you know shut off. You got hill descent control. You've got the lane departure, which I like. And then you've got you know the, the parallel parking feature on there, which has the uh, radar, sonar, whatever it is, in front and back that tells you when you're about to hit something, which is always nice, and especially in a big dually. There's the camera, which is how the lane departure works. It actually takes a picture of what's going on in the road and can actually see those lines in the road. Look at all the controls you've got there. You've got all these uh, USB ports. You've got all these 110, 12 volts, plenty of things to make this a real office on the on the road. <laughs> room for a laptop, room for some files. I mean, it's made it's made to to be your office. Now, this is the corner step, which came out last year in a half ton, and then this year in the heavy duties, so you can get up there. That climb on your knees. I'm too old to be climbing on my knees into these tailgates, but you also have a handle there. Uh, so you can just grab the, the handle, which is the stake pocket on the side of the bed rail. And you also see the new bed rail there. If I coated that and also put a bed rail on a tailgate. But it's not on the dually yet. Uh, this is under the bed rail lighting. This is the LED lighting, which is always nice to see what's going on back there when you're at night unloading things. And then it's got the new uh, cargo management plug there. This is the GMC Denali. Such a distinctive looking truck. Uh, of course, you can't beat black and chrome. This is a very good looking truck. And here's the Chevy counterpart, the Silverado. Now they've gone to a high country. I'm not sure if they have it in heavy duties yet, but they're getting up there the high-end trucks. Here we go. The bigger crew cabs, three-inch more legroom, and the new uh, uh, double cab, which also has a, uh, a rear-facing hinge on it, so it's kind of a crew cab, but small. 